beautiful truck. He says it's dirty, but I still think it's pretty good. <laughs> Great day to be alive. What do you figure? Well, it's kind of gloomy out there, man. It uh, kind of doesn't seem like a very nice day, actually. I think it's a great day. I think it's a very nice day out there. Look at that, there's hardly any snow out there. It's wonderful. I guess if you put it that way. You know how cold it is at home right now? I'm just thankful to be a little further south. We're here in uh, Albert Lee, Minnesota. Right, Diesel? Yeah, man, it's still cold. Today's gonna be a better day than yesterday, though. Yesterday, I was just so tired and I couldn't understand why. I think my body might have been fighting off a, a minor cold or maybe like a tiny little flu or something, because I wasn't actually sick. I was, I was doing fine, but I could feel that I was more tired than I should be. So I got a good sleep here tonight. I slept here, I stayed here longer than I had to, but uh, we're gonna go deliver this lumber into, uh, where are we going again? It's still early, I haven't had my coffee yet. To Cloverleaf, no, Coralville. Clover, Coralville, Iowa. I'm gonna go bring this lumber to him over there. Somebody down there needed some good old Canadian lumber. And we're the ones to bring it to him. And then from there, we gotta go down to uh, Litchville, Illinois. And tomorrow morning, we load in Litchville. And that's taking us back up home to Manitoba. I gotta deliver that on Sunday. Uh, apparently, they, they're open on Sundays for delivery. That is like one in a million. So if they, they wanna unload me on Sunday, I'll take it. Let's do it. And then we'll go home and uh, figure out what we're doing from there. Uh, that, that's the next couple of days anyway. So today, we'll be going through Minnesota, uh, we're, well, we're pretty much at Iowa already, so we'll be going through Iowa and Illinois. Come on, Weasel. You're spoiled rotten, you know that? The old man, gotta make sure we take care of his joints. Here's our lumber. Came all the way from Alberta, Canada. What you doing way over there, Diesel? Come on, come over here. Don't be on the pole, go in the ditch, man. Come on. Come on, bud. Ever. It always so cool. It takes a while in the morning. He's always lazy, stretching his legs. That fresh air is really nice. Oh, that's really nice. Best part of the day when you get out of the truck and you just suck in that fresh air. Another day. We're alive another day. Diesel's just enjoying his treats. He gets his treat after he gets his, his uh, supplements every morning. So every morning and evening, before he eats, he gets this. He gets pure salmon, salmon soft gels. It helps his skin, coat, and heart. These pills are actually good for humans as well. It says right here, uh, pet parents, human grade, so they can be you can be healthy together. You can also, if you want to. And then after that, once he finishes that, he gets these glucosamine. It supports connective tissue, cartilage health, and joint movement. Gets those every day as well. And then once he finishes that, then he gets his treat and his breakfast. He's such a good boy. Such a good weasel. You have seven hours and 13 minutes of remaining drive time. That means I've been hanging around here a little too long after I did my pre-trip. did my pre-trip and then I moved towards the front here. I went inside, got a strawberry parfait for breakfast and uh, a coffee. And of course I started moving so people want to get a hold of me now. <laughs> uh, another day, another penny. Actually, another nickel. Canada doesn't have pennies anymore. You know that? Apparently Australia is the same way. We don't use pennies anymore. U.S. is, I think, the only country left that still uses pennies. It costs more money to produce a penny than a penny is worth. So everything is just rounded to the nearest five cents everywhere else. 
But here they still use a lot of pennies. I have a whole jar at home filled with American pennies. They are kind of useless. I mean, what are you going to do with them? I'm going to bring them to the bank one day. Cash them in. Cash them in for a whole $10 bill. Maybe I have more than that. I probably have more than that already. We've gotten rid of all the snow. Just coming up to, what is this? We're about halfway down Iowa, I think, towards, uh, not towards Des Moines. We're on Interstate 280. We sort of went past Floyd, Iowa there. That's the 280, right? Yeah, 218, sorry, not the 280. US 218 is what we're on right now. Uh, my buddy Moses is around the area here too. I think he's just west of us in Des Moines. It's the closest him and I have gotten since our wedding. He was one of my groomsmen at our wedding. I really want to get together with him again. They're from Virginia, so it's a little difficult to get together on a regular basis, but we're hoping for this year. They've already had a, a baby girl since we saw them. They got another one on the way. A lot of stuff is having a lot to catch up on. Hopefully, hopefully this year we'll have a baby of our own too. Fingers crossed. I still won't know for a few weeks and if we have good news, I, I'm not gonna tell you guys probably for a couple of months yet. Just wanna get through that period, but I can't help but talk about it, we're excited. The IUI that the procedure that was done it was two days ago now. It's not guaranteed, definitely not guaranteed, but the chances get higher. We may have to do it a few months in a row, but they say within six months there's about an 80% chance of conception. So hopefully, we get it the first time. CT scan and I had some blood work done, remember? Because I'm having some issues in my back, uh, around my kidney area, on my right side of my body. I'm trying to figure out what's going on in there. And uh, I had a CT scan and we got those results in. And I'm gonna go and talk to my doctor about it Monday afternoon. So I should be back Sunday. Hopefully we're gonna unload Sunday. If not, we'll unload Monday morning. We'll run back home, see the doctor. Hopefully he'll have good news for us, say that, hey, everything's fine, I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's just muscles that are in a knot, or maybe it's my back, because I, I sort of threw my back out last summer. You guys remember that? I could hardly get up out of bed in the mornings for like a month. 
was really bad. I don't know if it's a continuation of that, but uh, we're trying to figure it out. I'm hoping it's not a kidney stone. My dad had kidney stones a while ago, a long time ago already, so that's what they're checking for right now. Um, I have a feeling it's not that, but I just want the, the green light from the doctors already saying that, hey, all the important stuff is good. That we'll figure out next week. And then I'll be back on the road because the rest of January, February, and March, I'm gonna be focusing on running hard. So here we are in the lumber yard. Someone down here in the middle, they're gonna unload me here. Alrighty. How about that? How about that diesel? Diesel. Diesel, are you gonna help me unstrap this time? You never help, man. I'm calling you out. I'm calling you out on the YouTubes, man. You never help. Man, I don't got thumbs. How am I supposed to help? I guess you got a good point there. You got something in your eye here. Let me clean that off before I get a text message from your mother saying, why don't you clean his eyes out? There you go. See, all clean. Okay, such a good boy. Such a good boy. Look at that snout. We were talking about that yesterday, weren't we? What a good snout. I missed you last trip, buddy. It's good to have you back. It was fun with Chevy, but... There can only be one day's a weasel. That feeling you get when you unload 45,000 pounds. Woo! Feel light as a feather. Let's see if we can get out of here. You got lumber from all over the place, eh? California. Mostly from Canada. Apparently that's sort of our thing. We like to bring you guys lumber. And in return, you guys supply us with many other good things. I have no idea what I'm picking up still, but whatever it is, it's American made and we're bringing it to Canada. I think it's some kind of wood products. So, I don't know, maybe we bring this lumber down here and we bring some finished products back. I, I don't know. I think this is the exit. I'm making it the exit. It's an open gate, so I'm going through it. Oh, there's a train over there off to our left. Oh, that's got everything backed up. Okay. Guess we gotta wait for that. Oh, well, we've gone about a half hour down the road. before I could. We're both very excited. We're stopping for a coffee. I don't know why she's excited. I don't know. She's just excited to be part of the vlog, I think. In 600 meters, take exit 265 at Elisa and Matt. Turn right in 340 meters. That's very precise. 340. Am I supposed to like count that out or what? I'd be terrible at making these GPS voices. Uh, turn right ahead. Uh, it's about... Uh... It's a little ways, turn right after the, the tree there. The little the mini truck has been tailgating. Right on, at Elisa Road, CRX 46 and then, approaching destination on the left side in 130 meters. Exactly 130 meters. Should I measure this out and figure out if you're lying to me, Karen? If you're lying to me, you're fired. There she be. Pilot Travel Centers. I hope they have that coffee that I'm looking for. Some of these smaller pilots don't have the the fancy fresh ground coffee machines. I guess we'll find out. We're gonna do our half hour break here anyway, because I only got two hours and 16 minutes left before I need to take a break anyway. The US government thinks you I need a break. At your destination on the left side, Pilot Travel Center number 496. So we shall take a break. Let the weasel out. Are you gonna stay parked right in the middle of the lot there, bud? Cause I'd really like to, uh... yeah, thanks. There you go, I need that space. Pull in here and then back up, a little 
four-wheeler is going to drive right behind me. I know he is. Yep. There he goes. Never drive behind a truck who's parking. Never, never, never. Back in here. Diesel, you need to go outside or what? I'm going to have my lunch here too. I'm hungry. Look at this spot. Beautiful. Beautiful spot right here. So we're about to get rolling here again and my phone rings. Remember I told you Moses is in the region right now? He's around here somewhere. He's 30 minutes down the road and he's headed this way. So I figure let's extend this break past a half hour. Let's wait another half hour and he'll be here. And uh, I don't know if he needs to take his half hour or not, but uh, yeah, he's gonna come and hang out for a little bit. So that's awesome. Even if it's just like 15 minutes, whatever. I gotta get to see the guy. I haven't seen him since this, yeah, since Britt and I, since our wedding. So we've really been trying to make plans to go to Virginia to uh, to hang out with them. We want to take our travel trailer and pull it out there. It's just it's a three day drive from our house and a three day drive back. So that's six days just driving. And then we want to stay there for you know, a few days, four day, four or five days. It's we won't be able to stay too long because he's a truck driver as well, right? And uh, if he's not sort of booking off holidays, you know, he's got to get back to work. So. He'd, They'd probably be there, you know, maybe drive three days down, stay there three days or so, and then maybe we'll make a trip out of it. Maybe we'll go down to Florida. It depends how much time I can take off, right? I run my own unit here, so, I mean, it's, uh, it all depends how the finances look this summer, right? That's what vacation's all about. You gotta make sure you don't get yourself in a, in a pickle. But we are trying to get down to Virginia. And we want to take our uh, dogs with us, right? So we got to take the travel trailer. We got to take the pickup. We'll see what happens. It's just a dream right now, but uh, we'd like to make it happen. Uh, my friend Troy, who was also a groomsman at my wedding, he lives. He does the the Beyond Ten Thirty One vlog channel, right? Link is down below in the description. He lives over in Washington State, and him and his fiance, who's also from Canada, are getting married soon. And I don't think they're going to have like a big wedding, but they want to have a wedding party. And of course, we want to be there for that to support them and go and say hi to them, visit with them. So we also got to figure out when that party is going to be. I don't know if it's going to be in 2020 or in 2021, because I don't think we could do both Virginia and Washington State in one year. But uh, we also got to think, you know, Britt might be pregnant or we're trying to get pregnant, trying to get her pregnant. So we also got to work our travel plans around that because you don't want to be traveling when you're high pregnant. And I don't think insurance will even cover you if you travel into the U.S. when you're more than in your third trimester, when you're in the third trimester. Because then if you have a birth in the U.S., well, why would Canadian insurance cover that, right? Because having babies in Canada, it's free. It's all covered by Medicare. Down here, I, I hear you guys have to pay for your childbirth. You have to pay to have children, which blows my mind that they would charge you for that. But I guess that's the way it is. Uh, I'm, I don't... I'm not, I'm no expert on it, but I know in Canada, our insurance will cover us, but not if she's, so what I'm, what I'm trying to say is we want to do these trips, but we have to work it around if and when she gets pregnant. I'm just excited right now. I get to see Moses. Wait till you see his truck. He's got a beautiful W9. Part of the inspiration of why I want a W9. I mean, I wanted one before he had it already, but then he got his and I'm like, I want one too. He drives for, uh, uh, I believe he drives for a company out in the eastern U.S. somewhere. But man, do they got nice equipment. Tell you what. I'll see if he lets me show it to you or not. He's a more of a private guy. He's not on YouTube or anything, so we'll see. You, you might just have to trust me. It's a nice, nice, beautiful Kenworth W900. Look at this beautiful, beautiful ride. I could hear him coming like half a mile away. He had his engine brakes just a roaring. <laughs> I knew that was him. This is my first time I've actually seen his truck. It sounds even better than I thought it would. See, he's got a curtain side trailer, which would be very handy because then you never need to tarp. The only thing is you can't haul oversized loads with this thing, eh? But you never have to tarp. So he's loaded already. He's headed back east. He's headed home. That looks nice. Look at that, eh? 
So he's got the, I think that's a 72 inch sleeper. I want the 86 inch sleeper. So the truck would be just like this, but the sleeper would be longer. Beautiful. And I'd have to have a headache rack behind my truck too. It's a beautiful truck. He says it's dirty, but I still think it's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a little dirty. So, Moles and I haven't seen each other since. I said the wedding before. It was actually, we saw each other at our honeymoon yeah. down on the Gulf. Good to meet up though. We just hung out here talking for a little bit. I'm just sort of drooling over his truck. He might have to get out of here soon before I drive it off. <laughs> I like this curtain side trailer. I was trying to explain this to them a little bit before too. We got the liquid life. Oh yeah. So Gotta have that. We're gonna be headed down the same road for a little bit here yet as we're headed east and I gotta break off at the 74, right? Yeah, well, gonna... we'll both go down the 74 and then you go down south and I go east towards headed back to Virginia. Okay. Cool. Well, it was really cool meeting up with them. I'm glad yeah. we got to meet up. I know it's funny, our our running areas don't really cross very much. So we have to have like perfect timing to cross paths and it ended up working yeah and we just figured this out like a couple hours ago too yeah like hey i'm in iowa what you're not i'm in iowa <laughs> i was the spot this week yeah and off we go we're gonna be running together for a little while like we said there if you could hear us through the wind that wind was a little bad Moses is just pulling under the law. He'll catch up to me. He's not governed. He can do the speed limit. I can't do the speed limit. So he'll catch up. All right, let's go. 400 kilometers to go down to uh, Litchfield yet. Uh, four hours, so that would be what? 240 miles? Something like that. Really awesome to meet up with him. Continue on this road for 39 kilometers. Made me really want to go and visit them again. He's one of my best friends. And his wife, Colleen, and mine. Britt and Colleen are really good friends as well. Man, we got to get down there and visit. Britt, I know you're watching this right now. We got to go down and visit them. There he comes. He caught me already. <laughs> Man, that truck is nice. Whew. Making me jealous. Look at that thing. It's even nicer in real life. Now, I've seen a, a thousand pictures of that truck. Now, him and I, we talk pretty much every day and always sends me pictures of his unit. Man, it looks even better in real life.
we didn't even really know that uh, <laughs> we were close to each other when we woke up this morning. It was just a fluke chance that we got to meet up and that we both had the time to do it too. You know, usually in trucking, everything is rush, 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 right? On this road for 106 kilometers. But uh, today just worked out. Well, we're getting a natural truck wash tonight. It is raining pretty good out there. I know Karen, right? Didn't even have to pay for it. Free gift from the heavens. It's better than snow. So we're here in Litchfield, Illinois. Uh, I gotta pick up like across the street here tomorrow morning. There's supposed to be a truck stop right here and I'm hoping there's gonna be parking. It's like a little ma and pa truck stop. So right here, Mr. Fuel. Oh, I hope there's parking here. I looked online at Google Maps and it, it didn't look like there was a lot the of right space. Side. There's not a lot of parking here. At your destination, on the right side, Fast Stop Travel Center. What was it, Fast Stop Travel Center? Is that what it's called? Oh, uh, yeah, looks like there's some parking spots. Hopefully. There's one right here. Yep, right along the side there, I do believe. Sweet. Good. <clears throat> Parking right in here. Sweet, we'll have no neighbors like this too. <laughs> Bonus. 